Hello, I'm Paul Sokol, and this is the overview video for the May 2014 Free Campaign of the Month. This month, we are going to progressively collect consultation requests across two different web forms. In general, when collecting information on a form, if you can do it progressively instead of all at once, you should have better conversion rates because, with fewer fields initially, there is a lower barrier to entry. So while the campaign this month is strategically focused around collecting consultation requests, this multi-form tactic can be used for many different lead generation strategies. Here's the general idea. When someone submits their name and email on this first form, the thank you page is this second form which is asking for their phone number. If someone doesn't provide their phone number right away, a couple reminder emails go out trying to get them to share this information so someone can call them to schedule a consultation. This is another added benefit of the multi-form tactic because if people fall out during the process, you can follow up with them accordingly. If we were collecting name, email, and phone number on one form, there isn't much you can do to follow up on people who abandon the process. But that's it. A nice, simple tactic to only deliver actively engaged leads to the people calling to schedule consultations. Let's dig in a little more. The campaign starts when someone goes to your website and provides their name and email. The thank you page will be pointing to the second form. Connecting the second form to the first one is easy because you just copy paste the second form URLs right here. This pass info box ensures that the second form knows who is providing their phone number. The second form only collects a phone number. You see this hidden email field here? The pass info option on the first form will pass the person's email address in the background. This is how Infusionsoft knows who is giving their phone number because this form is checking for duplicates based on email address. Pretty nifty, right? Oh yeah, remember how I said you will have to copy paste this form's URL into the first one? In the code tab, you can easily copy the URL and then go back to the first form and paste it in. Once someone gives you their phone number, they go into this contact to schedule sequence, which simply has a task for someone to call out and schedule. If someone falls out after giving their name and email, the phone number reminder sequence kicks into gear. We wait 15 minutes to allow the person to provide their phone number, but if they don't, this reminder email goes out. If they still haven't submitted their phone number in a week, one last reminder goes out to try and collect that information. If you think about it, all we are doing is asking for someone's name and email first and then asking for a phone number. In this example, it is to schedule a consultation, but this tactic of first asking for an email and then a phone number can be used in many different ways. Maybe you have someone sign up for a newsletter and then ask for their phone number to send a text notification when your latest newsletter goes out. Maybe you have someone sign up for an online event like a webinar and then asking for a phone number so they can receive a voice broadcast reminder right before it starts. Again, there are lots of creative ways to leverage this progressive information capture. As with any campaign in the marketplace, all the setup instructions you need to launch live underneath the campaign model. Simply install the campaign, follow the instructions, and you'll have it up and running in no time. Let me know what you think below, and let's start scheduling consultations only with people that are engaged and want to receive a call from you.